Last week I was in Las Vegas for Fabtech 2016, a huge show that assembles some of the best and brightest when it comes to all things metal forming, fabricating, welding, and finishing. I spent two days in the city that never sleeps, and while the tables were unforgiving, the show floor had a wealth of new technology. I put them together in the top 10, but we wanted to stretch it out over two days for the holidays. So here's your first five. Give me that bullwhip. The Bliss is back. And the demo stopped me dead in my tracks, which is easy when it's not only deafening, but it makes the ground beneath you shake. That is Schuler's first new Bliss press in decades. The SC2250 two-point straight side monoblock press for single and multi-station dies. The 250 metric ton machine was designed for the North American market and comes with Allen Bradley or Omron controls. The company is also on the hunt for the oldest Bliss press in the USA. And with a brand that has been around since 1857, it'll be interesting to see what they dig up. You guys got anything? Send it in. But like CC me because I want to see it. That's old stuff. Kick off the dust. Yaskawa debuted its TR-1000 Positioner that has a small footprint, yet still capable of moving 1,000 kilogram payloads at a tilt speed of up to 12 RPM and a rotational speed of up to 22.4 RPM. The TR-1000 is an extension of the Yaskawa Motoman Positioner family and can be paired with other tech for longer and taller part handling. Sooner introduced a new BC series of air tools. Under development for a number of years, the new line of air tools really took ergonomics into consideration. With its precise and smooth design for machine building, tool and mold making and maintenance, aircraft construction, astronautics, automotive manufacturing and foundries. The company also debuted its new fresh air filtration system to use when grinding or polishing pretty much anything except paint. So just don't breathe in the toxins. Essentially, iGear created Twitter for machines. But instead of tweets, machines squeak. And the info is sent to assigned employees so they can quickly take action on the alerts. iGear partnered with Komatsu America on the industrial IoT solution that squeaks when a machine has gone down, a threshold has been crossed, or raw material is running out. Assigned workers can claim the alert on the dashboard that really plays nice with disparate devices, and it makes it easy to share photos, ask questions, and make it easier to keep machines up and running. Komatsu VP Jim Landowski says Squeaks not only helps you make intelligent decisions on your processes, but it enables remote diagnostics, which can help many of you out there prevent those late night service calls. Cincinnati Incorporated has been pushing boundaries since they worked with Oak Ridge National Lab to create BAM, the big area additive manufacturing system that printed a car a few years ago. Well now, the big BAM has a new little sister, Sam a small area additive manufacturing system that is the product of a partnership with Boston-based EnvyBots. SAM is designed to be easy to use, a suitable first-time 3D printer, and it solves one of the biggest challenges that 3D printing novices have on their new machines, human error. Typically, users have problems getting the prints off of the platform, and support material is a problem as well. So SAM prints the part on an easy to remove little raft that is automatically removed from the platform using a patented part stripper. Then it starts printing the next parts automatically. I mean, the story goes that the designers did this because they didn't like removing parts from their 3D printers that were housed in rat infested basements. Rat infested basements. They said their basements were icky, so they had to automate it. I mean, true or not, the advancement should solve a lot of headaches for users. Come back tomorrow for a second helping of five fantastic Fabtech finds. I'm David Manti. This is I, and now. And so's that one.